Hi, my name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be talking about the pros and cons of DA100 exam, which is by Microsoft. And recently, couple of days back, I also made a video on the latest Microsoft announcement. DA100 is now going to be officially renamed to PL300. Now, exam structure wise, there's not going to be huge change. What are the changes and all those things are already explained in that video. This video, we shall be focused on a simple question that whether we should take this exam or not. If we should take it for which category of people who are the ones who will be benefited by this exam. Stay tuned till the end of this video. I'll give you all the necessary information. So let's get started. Now talking more about the examination. See, Microsoft has uh, recently made this statement about renaming the exam, right? So that's a different topic itself. Now in this video, we shall be talking about the pros and cons. Ki, kisko lena chahiye, kisko nahi lena chahiye, as simple as that. Who are the ones who will be benefited? Who are the ones who will not be benefited? What is the on an average cost price and all those things? Preparation time kitna hai? Everything will be given in a detailed manner in this video. Now, the first pros. We'll be talking about three pros and three cons. Okay, cons we'll be discussing at the second half of the video. We'll now talk about the pros. So the first pro is that the exam is easy. Now, I asked 60 or say 70 percent of my students who are, you know, data analysis students who are learning Power BI because my channel is more focused on Power BI part. So many of my students, many of my subscribers who have already gone through this exam and even myself, I have gone through the exam structure long back, like three years back. So I know that the exam is definitely easy, which means that you can crack it with just five to, five to six days of preparation. That's it. So if you have no idea about Power BI, definitely you need to learn Power BI first and then go for the exam. Assuming you are on an intermediate level, in that case, seven to eight days of preparation, dedicated preparation on DA100 will definitely clear your exam. So that's going to be the first pros that we are going to talk about. Now, what are the next pros? For the next pro, I will give you a simple scenario. Just imagine you have applied for a job. In that job, 100 others have also applied. Now there are four candidates who are already in the last stage and everybody's interview was really good. So they are really, really good. Almost at a very similar level. Now, if I'm the hiring manager or if somebody is a hiring manager, then it's most likely that the hiring manager will give the upper edge to the one who has the certification exam. That means your certification plays a good role as well in resume screening. So that's going to be the second pros I will be talking about. What is my third pro? The third pro is that the exam is quite structured. What I mean by structured is that you will definitely gain a lot of knowledge in the exam preparation itself. So when you are challenging yourself for an exam, the exam cost is 4,000, 5,000 Indian rupees. Well, the cost differs from country to country as most of my viewers are from India. The exam cost is around 4,000, 5,000 not beyond that 7000 for sure. So what you're investing is not huge amount. So that could be another pros. But you can see when you take an exam, that means you are challenging yourself and you are pushing your limits. In that journey of exam preparation, you also prepare yourself. So you gain a lot of knowledge in the exam preparation. That's going to be the third pros. Now we'll talk about cons. Pros are already discussed. If you are already convinced so far, stop this video and go for the exam right now. Now, 
विल टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्स प्रोज का जो फर्स्ट पॉइंट है एंड कॉन्स का जो फर्स्ट पॉइंट है दैट्स गोइंग टू बी सेम द एग्जाम इज कंपेरेटिवली ईजी विच मीन्स ई कॉन्स में कैसे आ जाता है द रीजन वाई इट इज कंसिडर्ड इन कॉन्स इज दैट अगर ईजी है तो एवरीबडी विल बी अपियरिंग दिस एग्जाम राइट सो इन दैट केस he will appear she will appear she will appear everybody will appear this exam in that case exam ka jo wo like jazba hota hai and exam ka jo value hota hai that might you know miss for example hundreds and hundreds of people appearing for the same certifications so the value of that certification decreases so to maintain the value microsoft is already planning something to have the difficulty level to a little higher uh, difficulty level but still they are working on it and they don't want to demotivate you guys and that is one of the reasons why i say that the exam is comparatively easier so exam is easier could be a pros and could be a cons it's up to you how you take the criticism now the second cons will be it is restricted only on power bi so data analysis is not only about power bi right we don't we already know that there is a lot of topics in data analytics there is sql there is excel there is uh, tableau there is uh, data modeling data cleaning so many topics are there but this particular exam da100 urf pl300 is more focused on power bi so that is one of the cons i would like to mention and that could be one of the reasons why da100 is getting renamed to pl which is power bi 300 so da100 is getting renamed to power uh, like the certification name itself is changing to the power bi data analyst right so the second cons is very simple that it is more focused on power bi agar aapka vision ek data analyst banna hai taking this exam does not imply that you are a good data analyst it implies that you are a sound data analyst and you know more about power bi okay so similarly aapko tableau mein bhi agar prove karna hai you also have to go through tableau certifications as well so this certification is not suffice now another cons will be uh, i have already noted it down the third cons will be exam is strictly proctored i wouldn't say it's a con it could be a pro as well but yeah i will i will write it down in the cons itself so that you guys are also aware of the strictness okay so the exam is quite strict easy hai but strict hai because it's going to be proctored and it's not going to be ai proctored it's going to be proctored by a human being that means aap exam de rahe ho and ek banda hai जिसको माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ने पैसा दिया है एंड ही विल बी मॉनिटरिंग यू एंड वो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का बंदा नहीं है दीज आर द थर्ड पार्टी गाइज एंड लेट्स नॉट टॉक अबाउट दोज टॉपिक्स बट द मेन आइडिया इज दैट द एग्जाम इज प्रॉक्टर्ड आपका सिर इधर से उधर होता है एंड समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग देर विल बी यूथ चेकिंग आपको पॉज करके एनवायरमेंट दिखाने को भी बोल सकते हैं सो देट कुड बी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन द एग्जाम इट विल बी ए ग्रेट लर्निंग फॉर श्योर but i would consider this as a cons uh, because sometimes it could be irritating as well like it could be either ways right if you are not cheating and somebody accuses you fir webcam idhar ghuma udhar ghuma usme aapka time jata hai it also could irritate you right on the other hand jo cheating karne wale log hain unke liye to ye like it will be a really problem but yeah so this is what it is so decide accordingly what is your end goal and i will definitely recommend to take this exam because focusing on the third pros that exam jab bhi hum dete hain when we prepare for that exam we do our preparation very similar to blog writing jab hum blogs likhte hain that means we give 100% dedication to do a research on the topic and then accumulate everything and then prepare a better version of it that's all about blocking similarly in exams when we prepare for exams we don't go directly because we have invested some money so students will be very serious in the preparation part they will go for the exams and definitely i feel that people will crack through so if you ask me yes or not should i take or not it is a very good exam to take especially for freshers 
who are uh, starting their journey who are transitioning as a data scientist sorry data analyst or into power bi for people who are already experienced let's say let's say you are somebody like me or somebody else who is already working in power bi since last 2 3 years so in that case you don't need a certification because you have the experience right so i know many data uh, analysts who are not certified doesn't really matter certification will not give you an upper edge but it's a dicey thing so pros bhi hai cons bhi hai but recommendation ye hai ki if you are a fresher within 6 months 1 year experience range aur aap domain change kar rahe hain 6-7 saal ka experience kisi aur domain mein hai now you are entering data analysis domain or power bi take it it's going to be definitely helpful but people who are already in the journey already in the domain working hands on for them i don't think there is a necessity agar aapko flaunt karna hai in linkedin pe certifications add karna hai then you can go for it that's all about this particular video i don't want to stretch it even if i didn't wanted to it's almost like 10 minutes of video so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos and help me reach 20000 as soon as possible and i will definitely announce something there is a great announcement coming up see you in the next video bye bye